Now, Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Sponsored by Southeast Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Hi again, everyone. It's week one of Heartland Football Friday, and we've got the highlights to prove it. Cape Central hosting a jamboree with Kennett, New Madrid County Central, and Scott City. And New Madrid County Central has some stars, none bigger than Jadis Jones. He'll play Division I football at Coastal Carolina, and he would make the highlights, and he makes them right here. Watch that catch. Beautiful job. Jones with the, the TD grab. He just kind of outreaches everybody. He may do the same thing in college. Meanwhile, how about this guy, Caden Minner? They are nearly unstoppable as this team goes in and scores a touchdown there. Just a lot of weapons. Scott City also some moments uh, taking on New Madrid in this uh, part portion of the Jamboree. Tyson Underwood with a touchdown. Scott City, uh, how about this one? Jackson Gloth, nice little easy completion. He'll take it and Lane Holder pulls it in, number three with six right there in the Jamboree. Kennett and Scott City going head to head and Kennett's DJ Jones to Jackson Morrison for the completion. That's what you call hard earned, hit by about four guys. Then Kylan Henson says, I'll go in, I'll go out, and I'm gonna score a TD on Heartland Football Friday. He did it. Meanwhile, Kent Gibbs, his Cape Central team, looking to uh, play some D, and they do. Watch him kind of flush the quarterback out right here. They string him out, string out, playing, looking good. Cape looked good and active out there. Cheerleaders appreciate it. They look to get that running back game going physical. And at the end of the night, the coaches talked about what they wanted to learn about their teams. I think the biggest thing is you just want to see how your kids are going to compete against other teams. You know, you want to get a lot of guys in, and we're certainly going to try and do that. I want to learn about um, who's going to be physical and who's going to come up and make tackles and be good teammates and see how we can work together. When it's all said and done, I hope we get on the bus healthy. That's the number one thing. I, you know, the Jamboree is fun, and they get to come out and play against other people. This is a great opportunity to get film, to study the film, to see it live, you know, so you get a feel for it live, and then you can go back and study and, and fix the mistakes, hopefully. Hopefully. All right. Hey, can't wait. Regular season coming up a week from tonight. Let's head out to uh, St. Vincent, the Jamboree. The Indians hosting Kelly. Nolan Cook, he's always looking for some good food. Hey, he said they had some sweets out there. We'll take it, Nolan. No problem with that. Meanwhile, Portageville, they should be good. They were good last year. Mason Babb, nice run right here. Picks it up on the outside and picks up good yardage. Way to go, Babb. Gets it going, sets up a touchdown for Caden Gurley, he'll go outside, then inside, and then in the end zone for the touchdown. Portageville coaches say, hey, we got a good team. St. Vincent has some weapons too. Simon Barber, the weapon on this play, and he just keeps on going. One day they're going to finally drag him down. They do, and Coach Schumer looks on, and then Christian Schaff, we've heard that name on Heartland Football Friday, finds Clayton Grimaud. That, my friends, is a beautiful TD right there. Kelly, they're looking to get it going. If you watch a lot of Kelly, you know what they'll do. They'll do some of this and they'll do some of that. They're just a good foot, well coached football team. Not a lot of yardage, but they get it going for Lance Powers ball club. And then Kelly Waters would get the, the TD right there. And hey, we're going to show you. I, I think I got time for one more play, right? I'm going to wrap it up with the last play as we go to the break. And watch this one. And I got to take a timeout. It's a TD timeout. <laughs> 